Parents. I was talking about the, the universal ride. Was the only thing that the, just the two of you were a part of. You I mean just the two the of us? Rest, yeah, I don't think the rest of the cast was Just the two of us. <laughs> we can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Um, I suppose that's true, yeah. What was your experience like working uh, on that? Working on what? The ride. The ride? The ride was incredible to me. Yeah, I thought it was amazing. I never... I, I, I took it four or five times once, consecutively. I just kept doing it. Oh, I couldn't and, do that. Uh, wow. I was just, oh. Uh, what? I couldn't do it. You you have um, emotion. You remember... I, I was so, uh, a little queasy by the time. Uh, God bless all kids who come to the park, but sometimes there'd be sick kids from a program, and they would come to the park, and they would ask Chris or me, could you come and visit Ricky, who's not feeling well, and do the ride? And there were many kids this one day, and I, so I did the ride with Ricky, and then you do this, this motion ride, and I'm not feeling very well after one time. And they go, oh, Tom, you know, Johnny would make it, it'd make his life if you could just do the ride with him. Go, Fine, come on, Johnny, we'll do the ride again. I'm gonna throw up on a sick kid. And I mean, I did the ride about four times in a row, and I just said, I have to go home now. Oh, I was sick as a dog. Yes. I, I did the ride, maybe it was the first time I was there, and um, with. Uh, an ex-wife. Just want that. I just want to be clear about that. The that ex. ride broke up your marriage. <laughs> well, it, it was sort of a, a hint of things to come, perhaps, because we were all of, we were on it about three or four times, and then uh, you know what? Have you how how many of you have been in at that ride or see, you call it quite a few? Wow. But it was like. It was like a DeLorean, except it was <laughs> <laughs> well, they, don't, they don't work out here. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> so, uh, about, 40, and about the third or fourth ride, I started flirting with my wife of the time. And, uh, and it, it, got, <laughs> it, it got kind of playful. <laughs> You're making out with your wife on the ride? A little, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, the guys take that, we finished with that, and the guys uh, taking us on a tour of how this whole thing works. We went up and there was a room with about six guys, maybe eight, uh, sitting there looking at a simultaneous um, projection of the of the ride of the passengers. There's a camera. A camera. They can see the yeah. passengers. Or sensibly, the ride. if somebody gets sick or tries to jump out so, or something. I didn't know. There's a Christopher Lloyd sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the back to the future ride. Yeah. How many here were on that ride? <laughs> but it was fascinating. You know, they're making this ride, and they said, um, the person doing the special effects on the ride is Douglas Trumbull. But Douglas Trumbull did the special effects on the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey for Stanley Kubrick. He invented most of the, uh, most of the film... Uh, 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 visuals that you could see of you know the 2001 Space Odyssey, the ships going through going through space, the, that turning space station, all of those things were invented by Doug Trumbull. So just an amazing historic person in uh, in in the technical aspects of filmmaking, and he made the ride. This is now I know th this is going into olden times for kids, but this is of course before computer graphics. This is before CGI, before those kinds of things. So on the ride, you flew through Hill Valley. If those of you who took the ride remember. Now Hill Valley was not a computer simulation. Hill Valley was a gigantic model they had made of the city. 
This is, this is boring, but I'll be finished in a minute. No, no, no I, I, I want to I hear. They built, an, they built an entire model of the futuristic city that a film camera would actually be going through on a crane. Now this was to be projected onto a flight simulator, which is a dome. So you have the problem of if you make things look normal, like the real city, and you project it into a dome, all of the lines will be curved, and the entire city will look like a fisheye lens. So they had to build a model calculated precisely with all straight lines in angles so that when it was projected into a dome, the lines would be straight. I know. <laughs> but that's what they had to do. That's great.